Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, it don't work without you guys. Seriously. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods here. You know, it's a slow day for our Dallas Cowboys. Um, the Cowboys players are off tomorrow. I mean, until tomorrow, of course. They had a walkthrough yesterday. We had Michael Bennett in there. He's already part of the Hot Boys. He's already part of the Hot Boys, and he's ready to rock and roll and stuff with the Cowboys. We should be feeling good about where we are right now. And I'm excited. I'm happy about that. You know, we didn't get Jamal Adams and things like that. So things are kind of quiet today. And I'm okay with that because we're getting ready to go in and take care of, hopefully, the New York Giants. You know, uh, I'm hearing, hearing my name out there. Some people are wanting me to beg. Um or some crap like that, some, some lunatics out there. You know, them lunatics start coming out the woodwork when it comes to uh, playing us. It's kind of like this is their Super Bowl, but be that as it may. But since there's not a lot of stuff going on, what the shows will always do is they'll go to their staple. You know what I mean? You know, you always have something in your house, so when you don't feel like cooking, you know, you got some ravioli or some spaghettios, or maybe you got some tacos mixed in there. You've got a staple that you can go to to get by with, just to have something on the table. And for some of these shows, that's, of course, Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I have not seen this clip. It must be pretty good because Emily Ann sent it to me, and I could feel the heat. She is pissed off about one job of the hut, and the topic is, should the Cowboys move on from Dak Prescott if he's unwilling to take a team-friendly deal? Now, I'm going to remind you of something here because we heard them say that about Demarcus Lawrence before he got his $21 million a year deal. We heard that about Zeke Elliott. You know, running back who has a short window life before he got the biggest contract ever of any running back. So let's hear what the talking heads have to say. Marcellus, I'll start with you. Yes, sir. The Cowboys move on from Dak if he's unwilling to take a team friendly deal. Unwilling. Ah. Uh, one, we have to define what team friendly is. Mm -hmm. and that is a vague conversation. Um, and that's always mm -hmm. based upon the variables of every particular situation. So let's let's stay with the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys need to be genuine in their interest in Dak Prescott. Let me start there. And we talked about it yesterday. They're being disingenuous because they're telling Dak Prescott not that he's not worth a deal. They're telling him to take less than what he's worth so mm -hmm. we can build around you. That's disingenuous. Because one, someone upstairs is getting paid to do exactly what you need to get done, which is find a way to build around me and I get my money. So capologist, there's a general manager, Jerry mm -hmm. Jones, Stephen Jones, team president. That's the way it works upstairs. If you're doing your job upstairs and I'm doing my job on this field, then why am I taking haircuts to build a team? Secondly, if you look at this situation, it's amazing that Dak Prescott put himself in this position and now they're trying to take him out of that position for no other merit but look out for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand that because I see teams that have high-priced quarterbacks that have enough assets to be balanced. And we're going to talk about this going forward. Mm -hmm. We know that the, the Vikings have a maxed-out guaranteed contract in Kirk Cousins and that's the second most balanced team in terms of uh, offense and defense production. The 49ers, the most balanced team right now, got a Jimmy G and paid him too early, some say, and paid him too much. But at the same time, as the cap keeps going up, you're right where you need to be if you're Dak Prescott by what you've done on the field. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. narrative, conversation, and conjecture is trying to take away your dollar amount. Does Dak, Pre does Dak Prescott, should he sign a team-friendly? No. Why, <laughs> Thank you. Why should he? <laughs> Why should he take less than what he can command on an open market? Uh, why should he take why should any of us take less listen i will never understand and i will never i will never bow down to billionaire owners who claim poor house oh the cap it's restricting us the cap you can renegotiate there's 14 contracts on that team 15 con you can renegotiate right now to fit him under the cap and give him what the open market would pay him if you wanted to do that so i'm not going to sit here and listen to the dallas cowboys mm -hmm 
cry poor house when they're worth $4.5 billion, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm, I just, no. Uh, you can negotiate, you can manipulate, you can... Mas um, let me add to that, that they have going into next year, $97 million in cap space, the third highest in the NFL. Now, they've gone through, they've gotten J Jalen Smith taken care of, Lyle Collins, you have your offensive line, and Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, all locked up, okay? as well as Zeke Elliott. So with that money, you're going to gain some money because you're probably not going to have a guy like Tyron Smith around next year because he's gotten older. And when you look at $10 million is what you're looking at for your salary, that $9 million that you would end up getting in cap space kind of gets you over $100 million. And, you know, some people say franchise tag. Well, the franchise tag is $33 million. And here's the problem with the franchise tag. That $33.5 million is hard numbers. If you look at what they did with Lyle Collins, basically his cap hit is peanuts. And that's what you do with Amari Cooper. You stretch it out as long as you, you can work it out with the player. And Dak Prescott, quarterbacks have a long shelf life. But let's go back on to these guys. Massage the cap any way you want to do it to fit your players in. And the bottom line is he doesn't have to because guess what they're going to have to do? They're going to have to make a decision. And they're going to be 15 teams or get off the toilet. Up to sign Dak Prescott. Or for how much? For more than what? For, a for three. The first number, number will, will be, be a three. three. No, Absolutely. We know that. So y'all just, just said there's 15 idiots running the NFL team. More. <laughs> there are more. more like, no, you can't expect Dak Prescott to take a team-friendly deal when he's been on a team-friendly deal for the first four <laughs> years of his career. Thank mm. you. Four years, $4 million. By my account, the starting quarterback at the time he was drafted was making about $20 million per. So that's about $80 million that he's already saved the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys had Amen. to pay up. And no one told them to run out and give Zeke Elliott a new contract. Nope. They didn't have to pay Zeke, Zeke Elliott. No, no, Zeke was a first-round pick. And you know what Zeke was getting? First-round money. There was no need for them to give him an extension Zeke when he had two years left on his deal. He is worth it. He was a first-round pick. So you draft in the first round. You play like a first-round pick. You then don't go to the table and get more money. Yeah, they, they, need, they need to pay. Because, look, sooner or later, mm -hmm. the bills come and do. Name Jimmy Garoppolo money. No. He's more That's what he is. He's more Oh, my God. Now. And the cap they they should have done that. You didn't want to give it to you him two years ago. Yeah. They should have gave it to him then. Because right now they're looking at $131.2 million that they're probably going to have to offer up on mm -hmm. three franchise tags. This is why. Oh, see, but see, here's the thing with Jim right there. Let him go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What about him? Drew Bledsoe, Vinny Testaverde, They're John Kidner, Trey Hutchinson. They're Mac not in the draft. Brandon Wheaton. Oh, you, you, you know who you can draft? You can get Mitchell Trubisky. You want to go with that? You good with that? He's not in the oh, draft. Oh, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield he's may not be in out there. Draft. One of those guys may be out there that's because the when you draft, that's you don't know Josh Allen. You want Josh Allen to play for the Cowboys? I'm telling you, man, go with players over picks. Pay the Russell man. Wilson not get drafted in the third round. Yeah. Did Aaron Rodgers not get drafted? Mm, yes. these guys, the like, guys that he Davis wants to Wilson get paid too. like, and they all, got, got, drafted. Paid, and they all yeah. got paid. So put Dak in that and same category. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do have some good quarterbacks that were drafted, but for every Aaron Rodgers, there's ten Baker Mayfields. There's ten Marcus Mariotas. There's ten Jameis Winstons. Okay. There's uh, D Daniel Haskins. There are a whole lot of people that are drafted high. You're Paxton Lynches and stuff. To think that you can just go the frick out and just oh we're not going to pay him. We'll just get another guy. They don't grow on trees. They don't. And you're an idiot if you think that they do. And, and Russell Wilson does he got, do what they do? No, he doesn't Russell have Wilson to. got drafted in the third round. I mean, with number 24 overall for Aaron Rodgers. There are going to be a bunch of – there's always a run on quarterbacks, right? Mm -hmm. Like a, a year ago, it was a Hall of Fame five, right? Yeah. yeah. How many of those guys going to the Hall of Fame right now? Woo! Not sure. Come Ooh, on. Nah, nah, come on. Nah, like, hey, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they were people that were saying Josh Rosen is the most accomplished college yeah. quarterback coming out yeah. right now. I got it. I, I'm just telling you. Listen, <laughs> Sam Bra what you wish for. <laughs> Sam Bradford, mm -hmm. Jared Goff. Mm -hmm. Sure. Jared Goff. Uh, oh, overpaid. Oh. Why do you got to make the same mistake as everybody else? <laughs> everybody knows Dak's not a $30 million a year quarterback. $30 Bullshit. million a year quarterbacks do what Rodgers and Russell Wilson do. Mm. He doesn't do that. He's not a guy that elevates everybody else. He's a fine mm. quarterback. Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan. 
Jared Goff are all $30 million quarterbacks. Quarterback paying Garoppolo money. I, off the top of my head, I can't remember what Kirk Cousins is getting paid. Same thing. 28 for Garoppolo. Yeah. Same yeah. as what? Yeah, paying that kind of but money. When, when, he has, when, Garoppolo, yeah. his debt. when Garoppolo signed that contract, everybody said, how can you pay him that much money? Yeah. But I mean, that and now you know what now, now it looks, looks like, like a good deal. Now it looks like a good deal. So exactly. you pay him thirty million dollars a year. You know what? Two years from now, you might be going. Hell, that was a hell of a deal for us. Hey, and look, Jared Goff went to a Super Bowl in his third year. Even though he came up short, still he carried them more so in the playoffs than anybody else in terms of the offensive production. Let's talk about why the Cowboys aren't telling the truth, because okay. they are trying to present two different worlds, two different realities. They're saying, Dak. We can't pay you right now because we need to build a team for the future. You got but a that team contract right now. that you're talking about. I thought Jerry Jones needed to win with this team right now. Think about it. You've been saying Jerry Jones have a lot of time left. Jerry Jones in this moment wants to win with this team that he's built. He's went all in last year with Amari Cooper. He went all in this year, Michael Bennett. So me signing the contract has nothing to do with this reality, but this hypothetical that you're trying to project going forward. Which one is it, Jerry? Which one is it, Stephen? Because they don't coexist. We don't have to sit here and take everything at face value. We okay. can deal oh, with Lord the reality of what Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones are saying. And mm-hmm. what they're saying, and they may not say it directly, but I'll translate it for everybody. Dak, you ain't worth $30 million. That's all I said. That's why they're not dis- they're being disingenuous. Say he's not worth it. They are. They're saying it politely. They're clear as day. That's why they haven't given him the money. That's why they keep coming back to team friendly. They're saying it clear as day. You're not, we're not paying you like these guys that win games. We're like, right. how is that polite that's when you're now going to attack my character and now put Who's up, attacking his here's character? Here's the perception of greed that's going out there. Mm-hmm. Someone who's taking mm-hmm. more. Who's being greedy? Oh, well, that's not an attack on character? No. Because I was someone greedy? Was it, in a negotiation, you should be I greedy. I thought you said they were being polite. They are being polite, <laughs> but in the negotiation, you should be greedy. I got no problem with them calling him greedy. He is being greedy. That's what he should be in the negotiation. You just said. But at some point, reality has to come in and knock on his door and Todd Francis' door. Hey, man, if you want to play here in Dallas, they're not giving you 30-some-odd million. Mm. Now, if you want to go play someplace else, if there's a team stupid enough to give you 30 oh, million, you know what? let him have it. Lies, oh, so we're not on Jerry and Stevens' door and says he's worth that money. So if you don't want to pay it, just go pay it. Quietly go away. He gets it. Either franchise him at 33.4 or mm-hmm. franchise him. Okay. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, so why, 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 why are we talking about this? That's the beauty of this. Why are we talking about it? Why? Why are we talking about it? Why are we talking about it? Why are we talking about it? Why are they 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 talking about it? Because they'd like to have him at 27, 28. No, they don't want to pay him market value. They should have paid him last year. They should have paid him last year when they could have got him. Don't pay him. They have to do it. You can be frustrated. They should have paid him. Here's the deal. They should have pay, paid this him. Is, this is a great thing about negotiation. You know what? <clears throat> My man is rolling the dice on himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, I will, and I will. No. no, 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 no. Nate Newton no. even came out and said, y'all don't know Dak if you don't think he's going to bet on himself. And the Cowboys are selling wolf tickets. Oh, oh, you're not yeah. worth it. Oh, oh, well, we can't build around you. Oh. Hey, man, we ain't got to fight. Let me go. We'll find out who's yeah. going to win this. Yeah. The funny thing about they can't build around it. What were they doing the four years when he's playing on these peanut, this peanut Ooh. deal? When he's only making four years. Oh. He built a great team around Well, if it's so and great, then they should be able to pay him now because the team should be ready to go. Look, he gave them four years <laughs> and four a, years a very nothing. discounted cost. That is when you're supposed to build your team up around him. So he gave them four years. Hey, build up the team and I'm ready. No, 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 no. With a it's roster, time, with it the is time right quarterback, they should be – they should be six and one. Oh, what about that, that, that oh. multi-million dollar running back that they had to have? Mm. Like, if he's Are you all of that, but I am. I am dead serious. serious. Is Zeke's but, the best running back in football. Uh, uh, you're comparing I don't know about him that at the to Russell Wilson. Compare yeah. him to Russell Wilson in year two. Mm. In year three. Mm. They're not the same. They're not, Russell Wilson is not the same Russell well, Wilson that we see four. now. Right now. So well, I compare him to Russell Wilson But you know, and right now, And right now, Dak's numbers are like Russell Wilson in year four. Russell Bowl by then. Russell's on the third go. Because they go. built. They <laughs> built believe. around it. I can't believe it. You know, either he's just a hater or he just don't know shit. Because Russell Wilson numbers every year, his first three years, were less than what Dak is putting up right now. The difference was is they had the number one defense that was number one at taking the football away. They had a beast mode in there who was, of course, balling. Russell Wilson had to evolve his game 
because they didn't have that stuff. But you'll notice something. As Russell Wilson elevated his game plan, okay, and is throwing 4,000-plus yards, 30-some touchdowns and things, they're not going to the Super Bowl because they're not balanced. So you can look around and say, well, shoots, then Russell Wilson's not worth his money because he's not winning Super Bowls without a team around him. And this is the stupid BS argument that we constantly get around these guys. It's just crazy. But what can I say? That's just the way it is. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, Emily, I see why you're pissed because I'm pissed too.